host, your business mentor, and I'm right back with another video. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. It's going to be a really quick one on adding Canva links to your Canva documents. I actually had someone under um, another Canva video that was wondering how to add links to her Canva creations. And so I figured I would do a video just in case anyone else out there is wondering how to do this as well. So guys, just as an introduction, welcome to my channel to all those who are brand new here. My name is Dallas Gordon. I am a business mentor for women. And what I do guys is I help digitalpreneurs to master their brand messaging, their marketing strategies, and their money making strategies online. So if you're looking to do any of those things guys, this is the right channel for you. You wanna hit your notification bell and be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if your notification bell is on, you will be the first to know about any of my new uploads. And feel free to use and hang out in my comment section, guys. You can ask questions, comment on this video, as well as request other content that you want me to cover on my channel. And I will be glad to do that just for you. So let's get into it, guys. So I have on my screen right now, um, one of my Canva designs open up on my screen. So you can add links, guys. And it, just to put out there, the video that um, someone had asked a question on was actually a Canva link tree video where I was teaching and I was showing how to create your Canva link tree. So if you want to um, take a look at that video and check it out, feel free to check it out if you're looking to learn how to create your link tree using Canva. So in that case, guys, the video actually had buttons for my followers to click. Um, so um, the watcher wanted to know, you know, how do I add links to these buttons to make these buttons clickable? So this um, video will help you to be able to do that as well as add links to any documents. So you can either add links to words, you can add links to elements as well. So we're just gonna start, guys. I'm gonna enlarge this um, page a bit so that you can see a little better. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to highlight the word success. I'm just gonna double click it and highlight it. And then I'm gonna go up to these three dots at the top menu here where it says more. I'm gonna click here and then go down to this link here. So this is the space, guys, that you're going to put your link. Whatever website that you want, whoever's reading your document or viewing your document to be able to be redirected to, you can enter that link right here. So in my case, I'm gonna put dallasgordon.com. You guys are free to use the HTTP or the www, but I'm just putting dallasgordon.com. So I'm gonna hit apply to apply that link to the word. And as you can see, guys, here is now highlighted. Now let's just say that I wanna, you know, highlight a picture, an element. I can also do that. I can just click on top of this picture and as you see now the link icon in the menu is actually not under another menu when you click an element. So I'm just gonna hit link and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna type in dallasborn.com here and then I'm gonna hit apply. So if I wanna see whether or not my links are working or I enter the right links and I just wanna kinda test it out before I save my document, if you go down to these two arrows to the bottom right, which say present the full screen. If you click here, guys, you can kind of test it out yourself to make sure that your links are redirecting where you want them to redirect. So if I click on success, it's opening up my website in another window so I know that I linked that word properly so my website is coming up, okay? We're also gonna try it with the element as well. So I'm gonna go over to the element, I'm gonna click it, and it's also now opening up my website so I know that I did the right thing. Um, so from here guys, all you have to do now is go over to Canva and now you can save your document. Um, so I'm gonna go to the download arrow and then I'm gonna make sure that I either have PDF print or PDF standard selected. Okay, so that way you can save your document as a PDF. Once you do that, your viewers, whoever you give this document to or yourself, you'll be able to click um, on words or images and you'll be able to be redirected to whatever link you put in. If you wanna remove your links, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I just click back on the element, go back to um, the link icon and now it's showing up here under the dots again. I'm just gonna click it again, take it out and then hit apply. 
to get rid of that link. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the word success. I'm just gonna double click it, go to the dots here, go down to the link icon, double click it, and just delete the link and hit apply. Okay guys, so that is how you add links to your Canva creations. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop them below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button, hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And guys, whatever you wanna see on this channel, whatever you wanna learn, please be sure to drop me a comment below and I'll make sure to cover that um, if I know about that. I will definitely cover it. So guys, be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.